Hello everybody and welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how to update the Smart Play infotainment system on Maruti cars. This process will work on all the latest Maruti cars like Siaz, Ignis, Brezza, etc. that have the Smart Play infotainment system. In other words, the touchscreen uh, music system on the car. So first thing that you need to do is download the file from the link in the description and ensure that when you extract it you see these 14 files like you can see on the screen right now. Copy these files and paste it onto your pen drive. Make sure that there are only these 14 files in the pen drive and no other folders or files are present. So make sure that this is pasted to the root of the pen drive. Once you've done that, let's now go to the car and see how to update the system. Once you're in the car, plug in the USB drive into the USB port. And you can see that the system in a few seconds will automatically show you a white screen like so. This is completely normal, don't worry about it. Give it a few seconds. Uh, remember throughout this process never switch off the ignition or power off your SLDA unit. So whatever is the behavior let it be a white screen or a complete black screen like this is normal. So just be patient and you would see progress on the display. Okay, so like you can see that the update is now initializing. So this entire process should take about half an hour. And uh, this is the latest version, like I've already told you, 1750. So let the system continue on its own. You don't have to do anything at all. Just sit back and relax. Just remove the USB stick once the system shows you this message which would be in half an hour. So I've removed the USB stick and you can see that it is restarting on its own. Oh, I just had to press the power button and you can see that it's actually now booted into the UI. Okay, so once installed, let's have a look at the software version. So to do that, I press and hold the settings or the gear icon on the SLDA unit. You have to hold this down for a couple of seconds until you see the screen. And then I can press the software version here. And you can see that it is the latest and greatest 1750.2 version. Now let's have a look at how to use the Android Auto function. Step one is plug the USB cable into the port. Step two is plug the other end of the cable into your phone. So I have a Pixel 2 here and of course you need to have the Android Auto app installed on your phone like so. So if you already have the app installed, great. If not, please make sure you download the same from the Play Store. And then just open the app, follow a few screens, and then plug in the other side of the cable here. And you can see here on the screen, uh, it says Android Auto. Apply the parking brake uh, in order to continue. So let's do that. And saying please confirm Android Auto connection disclaimer on your smartphone. So if you look at your phone here, it says you will what will Android Auto do? It'll turn on the Bluetooth, pair and sync your contacts with your car. So you accept. 
and now you see your phone will not be usable anymore but you will have here on this display so it says your phone is connected and for the road ahead use steering wheel buttons and voice actions with Android Auto so let's do show me how get one to what you want quickly switch activities by using the buttons below okay Select to open, select to switch apps, okay, for audio options, yeah. Press and hold the steering wheel's mic button. When you hear a beep, you can start talking to Google. Okay, let's go. Perfect, so you can see, just let's remove that. So you can see that I have a few WhatsApp notifications here, right? Okay, so let me show you quickly the features of Android Auto. To start with, uh, you can talk to Google just need to say okay Google what's the weather like right now in Bangalore it's 24 degrees Celsius and mostly sunny it'll be mostly sunny there today with a forecast high of 27 and a low of 13 right so you can also get driving directions so you don't have to take your eyes off the road at all you can just talk to Google okay Google driving directions to work your work is 45 minutes from your location by car in heavy traffic. And like you can see, it brings out three different route options for me. So I can choose the fastest and there we go. So we're on our way to work. Of course, it's a Saturday and I don't want to go there. So let me exit out of that navigation. So pressing here will take you back to your home page uh, for Android Auto. If you want to call somebody by using the screen, you can press here and then you can see your contacts here or you can just dial the number. Let's go back. So this is for music. Uh, if you have the Ghana app, you can use that and it supports Android Auto. So you can get all your playlists, uh, Bollywood track, probably top 50. That's how it works. So uh, when you are on Android Auto, you will not be able to get uh, radio from inside of Android Auto. So if you want to play the radio, go back home and then play radio from here. And if you want to go back to Android Auto, just do that. So that's how you can get radio in the background and still have Android Auto. Let me now show you how to call a contact uh, without taking your hands off the wheel. So all you need to do is uh, start with the prompt. Uh, okay, Google. Call Wi-Fi. Calling Wi-Fi mobile. Can you send me a WhatsApp message? Huh? And in the message, just type what time are you coming back home? Okay. Thank you. So now let's see how do you view messages or WhatsApp messages that come into your phone. Okay, you can see that I have a new message. So let me just click on it. Wifi says, what time are you coming back home? Do you want to reply? Yes. What's the message? I will be home in 10 minutes. Got it. Here's your message. I will be home in 10 minutes. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Sending message. So like you can see, I responded to a WhatsApp message without uh, taking my hands off my steering wheel at all. And it's that simple. It's of course a little bit time consuming, but uh, safety comes first. So it's the best way that you can use your phone when you're driving. So I hope this was informative. Thank you for watching.